My name is Rainier de Graaf. I'm a, a partner in, in OMA. Um, been there since 1995, a very, very long time. Um, the room we are in currently is, is a kind of x-ray of what keeps us busy at, at this particular moment. They're what we call current preoccupations. So this is, in a way, the result of, of a kind of poll that was conducted throughout the office, throughout our roughly 300 people that work for the office, which means it's partly a random selection of, of projects. And what you see on the far end of the wall is an attempt, uh, in a way, to extract a particular discourse uh, in, in, in fields uh, from, from our work. Preservation, uh, the mega city, prefabrication, uh, generic architecture. A large part is dedicated to London, not that London represents so much of our uh, preoccupations per se, but it's because the exhibition is in London and because simply in the context of a particular project, London as a preoccupation flared up. The focus of interest in, in the city for me is that it exemplifies the current status of the architectural profession, which is at the same time all important uh, and not important at all. And, and, and you oscillate between those two states of mind uh, when you work, and, and, and London in many ways gives you the most extreme roller coaster ride uh, where, 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 where that is uh, concerned. I mean, in London, like a lot of the uh, situations around projects are acted out like a Shakespearean drama or like the sequential headline of a tabloid uh, where you know the fiction of the day really decides the course of the project and it can be totally different at another uh, moment but I think it's also very much clear that that London is extremely pragmatic it loves concepts it loves particularly loves concepts uh, when people speak about concepts, because ultimately it doesn't love concept, but it, lo it loves language. Uh, but that's a very slippery slope, because it also means that you know, uh, whenever another preoccupation overrides uh, architectural rigor or anything, it's also very quick to, em uh, to embrace the next consideration with an equal amount of concern. So you are everywhere and nowhere almost at the same time. And, and, uh, and this is different projects never acquire the same degree of certainty uh, very, very, very quickly. I mean, it's, everything can happen for much longer in the context of an architectural project. London, in a way, is very modern because it accommodates change without actually changing its physical substance. And that, per se, has a very particular consequence for architecture because it questions the relevance of architecture uh, as a necessity uh, altogether.